you need to start rejecting the bullshit opinion that graphic design is some exclusive club that you cannot enter. Like, you need to have these desirable skills and they are so hard to obtain. And unless you have these exact skills, you're never going to become a creative. And creativity is so exclusive. Let me tell you something about myself. I started graphic design in 2013, as far as I'm concerned. I was a 14-year-old who decided to get Adobe Photoshop on a trial version. And I got addicted to using Adobe Photoshop. And I got addicted to creating photo manipulation within the soccer niche. And here I am today, still 10 years down the line. It's 2023. And I've been doing this full time now for many years. Now, it didn't take me some extraordinary creative background. You know, you put a pen in my hand and tell me to write on paper or to draw on paper. I'm literally useless at it. I'm very, very digital when it comes to graphic design. And there certainly seems to be uh, a group of graphic designers that believe that it's all pencil and paper. You know, it's you should never jump into the computer first. You should never use Adobe Illustrator to create a logo. You should always sketch it out first. And while that might be great advice and guidelines, it's certainly not the rule. So don't believe for one second the bullshit that people are trying to feed to you that graphic design is an exclusive club and that you need these certain skills to enter it. Yeah, of course, there's desirable skills to become a graphic designer, but that will come with time. You know, anybody can become a graphic designer. If you want to become a graphic designer today, you should start by building the foundations and then over time developing them skills. You're not expected to have it, you know, when you start out. It's not some given right that is that is given to you. It's not a genetic thing to be creative. Everyone's a creative deep down. So ignore the bullshit, you know. Stop listening to people who are going to tell you that graphic design cannot be entered into and you need to have these pencil and papers and you you must understand that graphic design is a low income skill and you cannot make money in graphic design all these old school opinions are just complete nonsense and that's one of the reasons i created jaffa brand and i'm, I'm fed up of other graphic designers telling people this stuff it's just absolute nonsense and i'm literally living proof of that and i'm not the best graphic designer in the world i don't ever claim to be but I certainly know how to market and sell myself as a graphic designer. And that's where a lot of people will fail. I will do a completely new video on how to market yourself as a graphic designer because I believe not many other designers are speaking about that stuff. You know, it's all about, again, how you use the pencil and paper. It's, it's, it's all about how you apply yourself with your creativity. Well, I like to speak about the other side of things, about how you can sell yourself and how to market yourself and how to build an authentic brand online. I think then things are important and are not and are not being spoken about anywhere near enough. So just ignore the bullshit. You're gonna see a lot of it and it's up to you to not listen to that stupid mentality.